Hey, I'm Ashraf Ismail, Game Director for Assassin's Creed Origins. Uh, what would you say is the biggest change to combat in Assassin's Creed from Dylan? So Dylan, the biggest change to Assassin's Creed in terms of combat, uh, it's that we've drastically changed the paradigm of what is fight. So in previous ACs, uh, we used what we call technically a paired animation system, which means when you swing your weapon, the, the hero and the enemy align, they play an animation together, you wait for the animation to finish and then you continue fighting. The change we decided, the paradigm that we shifted is we went to what we call a hitbox system, which means that any time you swing your weapon, no matter the distance, no matter if there's no one around you, you're going to swing. And that means all of a sudden that distance matters, uh, the speed of your weapons matter, your position in fight relative to other enemies also matter. Because now if you have a big spear and you're swinging it around, you can hit multiple enemies all at the same time. So all of a sudden, uh, all of these parameters of a weapon really matter in the gameplay. So it's not just about the damage anymore, it's really uh, speed, uh, length, position and fight, the number of enemies you're fighting. Uh, that's the basis of it. And then from there, we, we really go deep on what weapons do the enemies have? How do they behave based on the weapon loadout they have? from heavy weapons to fast weapons to shields. All of this has a huge impact on fight and the way as a player you're, you're meant to read the fight and react to it. What kinds of weapons will we be able to use, Megan? Megan, we have a ton of melee weapons and ranged weapons. So if I start with the ranged weapons, there's the hunter bow, which is a more traditional bow. There's the warrior bow, which is, let's say, a shotgun bow. It shoots multiple arrows at the same time and you can focus the spread. Uh, there's the rapid fire bow, which is more like uh, a very fast pistol or an Uzi even, where you can really let out a lot of shots very, very fast. And then there's the predator bow, which is the, the sniper bow. For melee weapons, uh, we have many. Uh, so you can fight barehanded, you can fight with a, a sword and a shield, you can fight with a spear, you can fight with heavy blunt weapons like maces, you can fight with heavy bladed weapons like giant axes, you can fight with what we call a scepter, which is a very fast staff, if you will. You fight dual wielded with two short swords. We also have two, two major types of attack, which is the light attack and the heavy attack, and these build combos. So each weapon also has a different combo output, so based on how you use the light and heavy, you have a different set of attacks. We want players to discover each weapon, that every new weapon type uh, gives them this uh, learning curve that they need to master and to decide what's their favorite. The big thing that we're pushing in terms of equipment, actually, is that now it's a, it's a very RPG-driven system. So all of these types of weapons I mentioned, they all have levels, they all have stats, they all have attributes. So sometimes you can have weapons that are on fire or weapons that can deal poison damage on top of the, the base damage they do. So we've really delved deep into more RPG-type mechanics, but that are still credible in the world. There's a huge amount of depth in the system, and we're excited for people to, to discover that depth and find that style that they love to, to play with. How do enemies react in combat by Sarah? So uh, Sarah, how enemies uh, react in combat? We wanted the fight to be able to get very difficult. If there are too many enemies, we want players to actually back off or figure out a way to, to take out singular enemies and, and manage the fight. Uh, you cannot fight eight guys in one shot and be efficient. There are ways for you to actually be able to, to manage them, but we wanted that if there's a lot of enemies around, you're going to get overwhelmed. Uh, we do have the capacity that enemies will attack multiple at the same time. Uh, how do you deal with that? So we have a lot of defensive mechanisms. So uh, you have your shield, you have a dodge, you have a parry. Uh, so there's a lot of defenses. You have your bows. So uh, one thing we worked on is actually being able to transition between melee combat and the bow. Uh, very fast, very efficient, without breaking the flow. We wanted players to be able to, to take a few shots at a guy to slow them down, maybe if they're charging, uh, use their spear to take out the two guys that are on their left and go back to the person charging them again. We wanted the fight to be very dynamic and, and, and very um, uh, spontaneous and that your skill of understanding the enemies, how they behave, their weapon loadout, your weapon loadout, the efficiency of your weapons, we want these things to be constantly running in the player's mind to be an effective fighter in the game. Assassin's Creed Origins. Available October 27th. Pre-order now and get a bonus mission.